Hey, Ernie. Well, we'll see you tonight. Is Captain Picard going to be there? <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> Vob, 136. Tomorrow, 7 o'clock, stop. 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. No. Right, right. So, so we said that sometimes when the Shriv Mara says to write it in the star, Sometimes we say the fact that he said that comes to reverse the gift he's making because maybe he wanted to give a star after, but you can't give a star after death. But sometimes the language of the star shows that, that he's just strengthening his desire to give a gift. That this kinyona that the that the star is documenting is just to strengthen the maton. Here also it says af. When he says that uh, write it and give it to him, it's showing that he's just strengthening the gift. And it's a gift in his lifetime and it's not anything that's happening after his lifetime. Itmar, Rabbi Yudam Rishmah, that in such a situation, you write the star and you give it, and you give him the gift. person writes in his lifetime, all of his assets to his children. But he wants to use, like, I'm giving the land, but I want to use the payrolls. You have to say, I'm giving it from today and after death. What that means is, I want to retain the rights to the payrolls during my lifetime. And then the Gufa Karka will go to you after my death. Rabbi Yosi Yomre You don't have to write mehayom. The date 
of the will document that he that he's keeping it from that day. The father during this time cannot sell the land. Because the Ben is going to get it after his death. The son can't sell it either because the father is allowed to use the payrolls. And then if the father does go ahead and sell it, the buyer can eat the payrolls until the father dies. Basically, the father is selling off the rights to eat the payrolls. And after his death, the, the, the son gets everything. Machara ben, if the son sells something while the father's alive, the, the, the ben cannot take away the right of the father to eat the payrolls. While the father's alive, he has the right to eat the payrolls. And therefore, the buyer didn't buy anything. Now, after his death, the buyer then takes control of the land. It's, it's basically... The buyer understands that he's buying the land after the death of the father. So the Gemara says, Who cares if he writes When you give a get and you say that's not get the ain't no get. It's like you can't give a gift after death. So this woman is not fully divorced. And then in Mace, and he has no children. So it's not a full divorce, she would require Khlitsa. How come here it works? So the verse says, by a get, we're in doubt whether the la'achar misa maybe is a condition. And really the get is starting from right now, but it's just retroactive at his death that it starts. Or maybe he's saying, maybe he's going back on his words of Me'ayom and he, he wants it only to start after Misa. And then you can't, dead men don't tell any tales. Dead men can't divorce. But by a shtar matana of al-hacha, hachi karmele gufa kani me'ayom, peire l'achar Misa, meaning I'm, sell, I'm, I'm giving you a gift, the land, but I retain the rights payers until I die. So that's why by star is different than again. Rabbi Yisrael Reina Tzarech, you don't have to write Misa. We know it based on the date. A, we're on Kuf Lamed Vav, 136. Halfway down. Rabbi Vro Cholosh. Rabbi Vro got sick. Alagabe Rabbi Vro Rav Nachman, they came to visit him. Rabbi Vro Rav Nachman. Boy Minei, ask him, Halachik Rabbi Yisrael, or in Halachik Rabbi Yisrael. Who is the Allah like? Armor lay. Time at Rabbi Yosi, lo yadana, Allah, he boy me. I don't know the swore of Rabbi Yosi. And I'm going to ask him, Allah. Armor lay, listen, at boy me. E Allah or no. You ask him whether the Allah is like Rabbi Yosi or not. I, but time, I know, I mean, I'll give you the reason. So, boy me. Rabbi Nachman asked Rabbi Barabua, Armor lay, Achi Amara, Allah, Rabbi Yosi. He told him Allah was like Amr. So, and Amr when they left, I knew time and gave him the reason of Rabbi Yosi that you, that you don't have to write me Ayom Allah Khamisa. The Amr is Manushul Star, of the date that he dated it now, that he wants the Matona to start from now. Tanya Machi, Rabbi Yosi, you don't have to write me Ayom Allah Khamisa, but Nation is Manushul Star, Mochechel. Boy, we need Rabbi Rav Nachman. Let's say when he, a father wants to give his gift after Misa, but he's alive now, and he, and he does a Misa Kenyan, Bakno Amal. If he did a Misa Kenyan, do you still have to write Me'ayom? Amalei Bakno Enotzarech. If he made a Kenyan with the son, he doesn't have to write Me'ayom. Because he did a Kenyan. But Rav Papa Amar, Iki Akniso Shetzarech. The Iki Akniso Shetzarech. There are Kenyanim where you need Me'ayom, and there are Kenyanim where you don't need it. If it's written in the star, I'm giving it to you. And the 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 comes second, then Lot Then you don't need Meayom. 
But if it's kinyonami neva akne, then sorech. So maski lo rochanim yisur mi ikim mididi anan lo yadina v'safri yodi. But understand. The Chachamim don't know the Allah, but the Soifrim knew know the Allah. Sha'ilnu l'safri the Bayi Yodi. They asked the scribes of Abai, and they knew the Allah. Who the Safri the Rabbi Yodi? They asked the, the scribes of Rab, and they knew. Ravuna Brit Rav Yeshua Omar, Ben Akni v'Kinyoramine, Ben Kinyoramine v'Akni. What? No matter how it's written, Lo Tzarech. You don't have to write Me'ayon. However, if they write. This is just being written as a as a remembrance of what happened in front of this. Then, and the word Kenyan doesn't appear, then pligi between Rabbi and Rabbi Yossi, whether they need to write Me'ayom or not. We learn the sugi in front of Rabbi Zvid. This is how we learn it. Anon Achimastis. No, you learn that way. But Anon, we Achimastis. We learn this way. That Omra Avra Avra Nachman, the Hakna, if it's written in the Shtar Kinyonim, ain't not sorry. Whether Ben Akne be Kinyonim in A, Ben Kinyonim in A, then Lot sorry. But if it's written in the Shtar, the Dukhrin Pizgami, the Abiban Pod, it's just a, we're, we're, we're recording what was happening and, and the, the word Kinyon doesn't appear. Then there's a machloek, it's Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, you need Mayom, and Rabbi Yehuda says, you don't. Hakoiz of Nechazim live no lach ramoiso. Then the Mishnah said, you, you, you wrote that the Nechazim should go to his son after his death. Then neither can sell, because each one has uh, certain ownerships. One has the goof, one has the pills. Itmar. Mokhra ben v'chayor. The son tries to sell while the father's alive. And then Mesa ben the Chayav, and then the son dies. Om Rav Yechonon lo kono lo keach. The buyer doesn't get the land after the death of the father. But Rish lo kishom or kono lo keach. Now what's the svar? Rav Yechonon lo kono lo keach because kini na peros kini na gufdon. If when you have the rights to the peros, it's like you have the full rights. The father had the schus to the peros. And therefore, until he dies, the Ben really couldn't sell him the, the Gufa Karka. So that's why, in that case, the son, the, the, the one who bought it from the son doesn't have anything. But Reish Lakish because Kenyan pairs left to Kenyan Aguf Tomi. Just because the father had rights to the Perus, the son had the Guf, and the son can sell it. So Freik the Gemara, this Machloik is five Fligu Bochad We've already argued this. A person sells a field, not the land itself, but just the right to the payrolls. Rav Yechonomar, the person who bought that, maybe the koire, he has to bring Bikurim, and he reads the Parsha. Because he's going to hold, Kenyan Peros is Kenyan Gufta. And therefore, it's like you have the land. But Rish Loki Shomar, maybe, but ain't a koire. Because you can't say it's my land. Rav Yechon Amr maybe the kork sover kinyan peros kinyan gufton. But Rish Lokish Amr maybe the enakor mishum kinyan peros lav kinyan gufton. Just because you own the peros, it's not as if you own the land. So the shaila the Gemara has here is why did we have to see this machloikus in both cases? Amuk Rav Yechon Alpha Gab Deba Alma kinyan peros kinyan gufton. Even though in general we say if you have rights to peros, you have the rights to the guf. Hacha. Regarding a son selling the assets of the father, we we had to be told it's it was a bigger chit. Because Salkatek, I mean, I might have thought, maybe the father's moichel, the schus that he had of the pay was to the son. And since the son sells it, the father's willing to be moichel. Come out from that. No. The kinina peros that the father had is like the full kinina group. That even though in general I hold holding holding the rights to the peros is not like Kenya Guf, Hocha Itzrich. Here we have to be told Dafka. When he leaves the Kenya Peros to the father and he sold somebody else the Guf, Afilu Bamakum Bray. Even though he gave the goof of the karka to the son, his kinyan is greater. 
and therefore he held on to the schus and the gufa karka to an extent. Kamash Mulan, that it's not so. A person says, My assets should go to you after my death. And then when he dies, when you die, I want Chaim Yankel to get it. So if the first guy that it was given to, Meis Rishon, Konashani. Meisheni Konashlishi. However, in Meisheni B'chaya Rishon, if the first guy, the second guy died while the first guy was still alive and it never went to the Sheni, so Yatsur and the Chosim, the Yorsha Rishon, doesn't go further, it goes back to the original Yorshim of the Rishon. Now, in Isa, that Kenyan Paris is not like Kenyan Aguv, the Yorsha Noising the boy, it should say it goes back to the Yorshim of the one who gave it, the original gifter. When you say, I'm giving it to you, and then after you, it should go to somebody else. He gave, it's as if the first gift is a complete gift, including the goof and the peris. That by saying acharayach, it's a different Allah. Okay. I've had Tanya, your. There is a Baraisa that says it is, it is given back to the giver. So tomorrow we'll say Tanoi, it's a Machlaikas Tanoi. So tomorrow we're going to learn at seven o'clock. Um, the Gemara Shir and then the Nachshir will be at eight o'clock. Have a good Shabbos, everybody. Shabbos. Shabbos.